Welcome to episode two of the Snail Cast. This is recorded the same day as episode one. Recording actually just hours, minutes, maybe maybe hours after the uh, the first episodes went up on YouTube. But uh, yeah, welcome back. We just did a we just did the last one on this lineup over here with the T seventy two AV terms and the two S three eight. It was great. We talked about some cool stuff about the vehicles. Very cool. I'd check it out. But today, on this one, make twenty three ML. How do we feel about that? He's flown it much more than I have. I'll let him talk about it for a few minutes. But uh, yeah. Um, it's a, it's a it's a really nice aircraft. I personally really like it. Looks wise, it it looks it looks gorgeous. I love the swept back wings. Everything about yeah. it, it's it's really nice. Um, especially I'm not sure I'm not sure how popular this opinion is, but I love the the starting camo you get with it. That sort of that gray. I don't, you don't see it much on cement. Well, you see it on some Soviet aircraft, not the metallic ones, but just the, the plain gray. You see it on some, but armament-wise, it's got a nice cannon. Ammo, um, the amount of ammo you get, it's, uh, I think you get 200 rounds. So yeah, yeah, yeah 200 rounds. Um, so and uh, you get um 60 um 60 count countermeasures. You can have I I run like two R24Rs and four R60Ms. And I find that is that's uh, that's nice. The 60 M's are really good um, IR missiles. Um, I I really like them. R24 R's though are what I find. Um, those are the ones that I get the kills those with are the most best often. Ones for sure. Yeah. 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 I I you... haven't even tried the 24 R's. I'm still just running the 24 T's because I like <laughs> that they're, they're they're like radar missiles, but they heat seek. Like, you know, they... not enough like. I might it. I might try the. Do you, how 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 do those work for you? Are those are those nice? I mean, I kind of just they're kind of more they're more flare resistant than the uh, R sixties, but you got to use them. But at long range, they they can still uh, you know they're not flare proof. Uh, mm. I've been trying to like surprise people with them because they only smoke for a little bit and then they cut the after cut the burner and they just kind of glide towards them and they're like huh? Oh, yeah. oh, you know they have no idea, like they don't even know it's coming. So I usually launch yeah. about five six clicks out, uh, maybe, maybe three at the least. But usually, but below three, you usually do R sixties, and then three to like eight, I'll launch the R twenty four Ts, and they'll probably just they just yeah yeah, more. they're great. I I usually don't. I I have not found much success in long range like using the R twenty fours. I think that like I usually launch them like four three kilometers in. Really? Well, you mean head ons too as well. If I if I can oh, get yeah. a lock though, that's the hard part. But, a, a good a good head on with an R six with a R twenty four actually. R24 yeah yeah especially. It's, yeah, it's over. Jover for the enemy for sure. It is. It is Jover. I'm running a it, the joystick and throttle as well. Yeah, he's in he's I'm in VR with a joystick and throttle. He's got his hot ass up, which I'm not gonna get until I get into the DCS in like 80, 80 goddamn years. So, <laughs> until like <laughs> when I find the money for that game, but uh, I will eventually get into DCS. But it'll, just, it'll take a long time. Whoa, they're all flaring. Oh shit! This looks cool. I love the the red glow you get in the cockpit when it's like closer to night. Oh yeah, this here is this right here. Yeah, I like that. It's very nice. Look at look at the details on this cockpit. I mean, this yeah, plane, it's really nice. If you're a sim player, if you're a if you're a realistic player, either one in this plane will really just make you happy all around. I mean, it's a great grinder as well. Along with that, what is this grind percentage? Is eight twenty five? Research. Oh, that's with the thirty percent booster, so I can't get an accurate reading that one. But uh, nine hundred sixty lions. That's that's solid. That's yeah. And we and we've got a we've got premium accounts on though. But yeah, that's also true. This is with premium yeah. account, as you can see right there, with a little plus fifty and plus hundred. It comes with the, it comes with the talisman though. So, and you can research all the way down from rank one up to rank eight. So it's yeah. very and right now rank eight. At the time of recording, is the highest rank, that, and it will probably stay that yeah. way for at least a year. So, <laughs> bro, War Thunder Gaijin should give us some some sponsor deals. We we we've been we've been saying good things about their vehicles. They need to. We have. We have that. You know what? The snails sutton. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I mean, honestly, though, it probably wouldn't take too long before we can get a a Gaijin content partnership. Not as good as a real Gaijin partnership like Fly Daily or Oddballs, but like a little content one. Yeah. With a little, little, you know, small little Twitch streamer, give us some, give us some GE, maybe. Nah, I'm kidding. But, yeah. Uh, 
You're please, not... guys, should we need it? Please, man. Please, I will give you so much more money. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I love this. I run the drop tank and max fuel, so I never even have to look at my fuel gauge. It's just, you know, I'll be fine. It doesn't even burn fuel that badly, honestly. With the afterburner full going. Unlike the MiG-29 or F-14, you get full afterburner. I mean, your fuel's out like that. So, yeah, I like it a lot. I'm going to fly up a little bit. I know it's a little late for that, might get radared, but it's okay. It's a very enjoyable plane. The one thing I have noticed though is some wing rips. There are some wing rips if you try to pull too too high a G's at too high a speeds. I'll say that for for sure. Sorry if the audio got a little wonk there, but yeah, I don't know. It's crazy. I just no, I've I, I've seen a few um a few wing rips. Yep, yeah, yeah, there, they're there, that's for sure. Oh, here, oh, there's a missile up here. Oh, no. For close air support, the MiG, oh, uh, I'm getting tracked. For close air support, the MiG is, is all right. It's got one of those, like, air to ground things, but they're, they are like, it's the one you've oh. got to gu uh, guide with your mouse. Um, or not your mouse, WIC. Oh, I just got splash. I wasn't paying attention. It is my fault, not the plane. <laughs> I'll say that. Now I can just spectate him in his, in his first person. That'd be more fun. But um, yeah, it's a great plane. I got silent there for a second. I was trying too hard. I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's a great plane. And uh, honestly, let me just look at her, if I can find him. There he is. He's got the Cuban marks on it. I think it looks awesome, man. Yeah, look at the the missiles. Just look really nice on the on the underbelly there. Very cool. Yeah, the the New Year's Eve premium sale is out. It'll be out for the next six days, I believe. So if you're listening to this and you got 30 bucks lying around, go get yourself a nice premium, man. I mean, it's instead of $70, they're just a, you know, 30 bucks is actually a little bit more reasonable. It's still a little expensive, but it is free to play game. So you know how it is. And one premium could, could unlock you an entire tech tree. So, you know. But yeah, May 23 ML, it's a great premium. I think it's $35 right now. And the, the term from the last one is maybe 30, 30, uh, I'm flat, 32 maybe, 32 and a half. He just got turned oh, on my shoot, 16. Yeah, we got up tiered. We got up tiered for sure. So it's I, for I forgot to keybind my uh, unit like the uh, missile seeker. Oh yeah, that's a I was like, why is this not firing? Like what? How am I? How am I not shooting? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah, they're real fun planes. Let's run one more mash on the pod. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. Only seven minutes in because air matches are a bit shorter in the ground ones. Yeah, I'm thinking about 15 minutes per pod episode, because, you know, if we're doing more than that, we might as well be look, start getting Wikipedia up on here, looking at exact details about the plane. I mean, you know, a little short general review? I mean, you got these little, like, I, mean, I think this just looks cool, and it's like a sight right here. It's a sight to behold, to fear. That engine is so big, too. I mean, wow. Really, just, it's, it's a great plane. Now, this game, I'm going to try out the R24TRs, finally. I just equipped the T's again. The R's, finally. I'll, I'll try the radar missiles. I'll give in. I'll cave. I'll do it. I've heard they're really good. Got to try them out. You know. Uh, I do like the R24T's a whole lot. They didn't do great right there. But you saw how it turned to get that F-16 right there at the beginning. And if it connected, it would have been an amazing clip. But unfortunately for me, it did not. But yeah, honestly, I love these. I love this plane right here. I got it this morning at 7 a.m. I woke up at 7 a.m. for the sale, and I was like, I'm going to get the MiG-23 ML. That sounds like a good plane to get. I got the Russian tech tree to grind. You know, the German ones and U.S. American ones are grinded a little bit already. I got the MiG-29 over there and the F-15, which I'll probably make a pot on eventually. But yeah, I mean, the MiG-23 ML, real fun vehicle. Pretty excited about me My mic getting is disabled. Up. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I noticed that. I was kind of, it's kind of yapping a little bit, but I'm, I, I have a, dude, master's degree in, in yapology, so no worries. But yeah, I mean, I convinced him to get this jet as a, it was the first ever premium a long time ago. He was yeah. like, I don't want to, I don't want to spend any money on this game. Like, no, 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 dude, dude, spend a hundred dot. <laughs> dude, spend, spend all of your money. <laughs> I, w I wish, I, I mean. Do you regret it? I think I. I th there's a little bit of regret. I think there would have been less so less if I had bought it like on a on a set holiday sale. 
Yeah. Because the packs are all in like 50% now. This yep, one is on they're really cheap. At least. It is. Yeah, and so picking one up, I would. I bet I'd feel less guilty. Yeah. Hey, hey, it. it sells right now. If you're listening, if you're watching or listening to this, dude, go pick yourself up and make 23 ml. It's great. For War Thunder, here at the Snellcast, we love this plane. Lovely. We love. We love. We love top tier in general. So maybe, you know, 90 percent of the War Thunder community is going to disagree with us, but <laughs> that's how it is. I think. I think we got to review a. We got to review a bad. Um, plane. We we've been giving Gaijin too much uh, too much credit we're here. Too. We're only two episodes in. We've already already sucked some some snail penis. <laughs> we're already we're in there. I would for sure do a, a more mediocre plane, like the um. Uh, what's a mediocre plane that's out right now? What's a pretty useless plane that's out right now? Um. Got to think about this. Let's brainstorm for a second, guys. I how about, personally how about the, don't. I mean. There's plenty. You go ahead. Um, I've heard I've heard some bad things about the tram and about the SU7. Oh yeah. Didn't you just say that's one of your favorite vehicles? The SU7. I like. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it looks it looks so cool. It doesn't have any like flares or missiles or anything. Yeah, I mean that's true. Well, what is I think LD? It's, it's nine. Um. Look down. Oh. Yeah. Look down. I equipped, I equipped the uh, R twenty four eyes, and I got or R's, and I got LD instead of um. MTI. How do I get MTI back? Huh. Do I go down below a certain altitude? I I don't I don't think I I I try to bind it uh, or find a bind for it. I couldn't I couldn't find a bind to get back to MTI. Oh, here it is. Yeah, it's a uh, two thousand meters. Like MTI more though. Below two thousand meters is MTI, and above two thousand meters yeah. is. Look down. Wow, look at that. New thing discovered just then. It switches what kind of radar you're using depending on your altitude. Switch that right there and it'll switch to look down here in a second. There it is. Wow. I mean, look. I mean, that's crazy. It changes your radar depending on where you are just for you. I mean, that's... I think that's really cool. What, what a what a, what a a lovely touch. It's a, it's a neat little makes feature it, right there. Makes makes your MiG-23 ML a little more homey and quaint. Well, I, I need to feel like all cuddled up. In this in this teal dystopian cockpit, what am I looking at right yeah. now, dog? Oh my god! Ugh. You get you get the nice like there ice cream goes. parlor teal. Yeah, <laughs> you feel like you're on the beaches of San Diego once again. Yeah, but you're not. You're about to die, and there's an AIM-7 coming right towards your head. Head? What am I? What, am I from, what, what hey. was that? Head? You know, I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna get some turtle head, and I'm gonna cook it on the on the fryer. What, what was going on there? <laughs> What's wrong with me? Anyway. Yeah, I don't know. <gasps> For us, I gotta turn to that guy. Hey, you're in first person. Things are more scary. Yeah, aren't they? I, f I feel like I uh. I have a lock what's on What's his him. name? What's his name? Uh. Thomas Bruce. Thomas Br Tom uh, Cruise. I, are you Tom Cruise, dude? Tom <laughs> Thomas <laughs> Bruce. Thomas Bruce, man. Dude, <laughs> I am Thomas Bruce. I need to do an episode of the Pod uh, with my Thomas Bruce outfit. Uh, which, I, which I have for for good reasons. They're good reasons. I'm launching a missile on that F4S in front of you. It's a radar. It should uh, connect. Oh, it's go yeah, it's going right for him. Brostone's no chance. Oh, the poor. Oh, oh no. Yeah, he outturned it. He notched it. What a G. What a homie. I'm just gonna roll up on him with the R60M. Oh shit. I mean, here's a good example of what R60Ms can do. They can team kill your best friend. Or kill the enemy, like that, like so. That's what you'd like to see. It's like a 50-50. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's usually the team kill. <laughs> Stay on track? Oh, look at that, two kills in a row right there. I mean, yeah, it really depends on how good of a pilot you are, for sure. I had a very bad game last match, but I'm having a much better game this match. But, uh, yeah, I mean, look at that. Just two missiles straight to the skulls of the enemy. That's what we like to see. Maybe that one will go to his skull. It will not. He popped flares. What a smart guy. Samurai. Dude, that, that was kind of sick. Hold on. Oh, he has guns on me. I'm just going to fly away. I think I have a better engine than him. I... Oh, I was... I was mistaken. <laughs> oh, my God. I was mistaken. That's... That's a real shame. Anyway. Yeah, there you go. Make 23 ML. It's a very fun vehicle. I appreciate it a lot. I mean... Only cost me thirty dollars. I got it on sale. Make sure you get it on sale. Make sure you always wait for the pack sales. They have maybe twice a year. I know a year's a long time, 
right? But trust me, just grind, just play with the tech tree vehicles. You'll have fun that way. You will. Ha I know it seems unlikely. I know. I, I know. I feel like I, I, you feel like I'm lying to you, but you will have fun that way, even if it gets painful. Just don't play ground six seven to to like eight zero. It pains me. I mean, the the the, the era of APDS and Hita Fest just is not my thing. It makes me cry. All the shell shattering, all the heat of just panning everything. It just makes me want to want to go home. <laughs> go back to the 2.7. Oh, Kenny, he's in first person right now, so I'll be surprised. If, oh, come on, here we go. And he's gonna get gun in the face. <laughs> oh my god, I can't imagine what it looks like to be in first person like that. Go. Bro, they're they're whizzing past. That's insane. Anyway, uh, we'll we'll watch you die. We'll watch you. <laughs> Have is he behind me? The... Um, I uh, know. No, he's Where'd not. Where'd he go? Probably went below. Below? Yeah, I think so. Oh, I think it's him on the left. I think it is. Yeah, left and then down a little bit. That's an AI. My bad. Uh. There, there was a plane there though. I wasn't. I was not schizo. Yeah, tell me if you like the new camera angle. It's not very new, but I might fix my posture a little bit. And, uh, I don't know. And should we really have game audio? I mean, I don't think you have it this... I don't know why. You should have it right now, but... OBS has been weird. OBS has been weird recently. I don't know what's going on. But if you'd like it, I can definitely make, a, make that fix. Oh, you're about to crash. You haven't launched a single missile. Yeah, I've, I've just been I've cruising. Just, I've been... I've been trying to lock in. Bro's been playing Microsoft Flight Sim, dude. Just having a good time. Anyway, we're at, we're at 17 minutes now. It's gonna be a longer one, by only a few minutes. Yeah. It's okay. But um, yeah. I mean, with the sight of him flying away, we'll see you guys next time. Probably do a couple of these a week. Maybe maybe two a week. Maybe. Uh, we'll we'll get down a rigid schedule eventually. But yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. It'll be about a bad vehicle so we can talk some crap on Gaijin. Have a good night and adios. Woo!